I have taken the Google UX course and I have completed it in around three months. The Google UX course is made out of around seven courses which consist of video. Hi there. It's a super exciting time because you're about to design your very first mock-up. I'll begin by introducing you to some of the foundational elements of any mock-up. Reading material, quizzes, peer graded assignments, and what is great about it is when you do complete it, you end up with a free piece portfolio. So here are the seven courses. Course one is an introduction to the Google UX course, and it's all about learning the basics, which you'll be learning more in detail the further you go into the course. Then in course two, you can start to work on your first portfolio piece and then you will be guided throughout your first portfolio piece step by step until course number six. So the first portfolio piece is in Figma. It's to create an app. Course six is a new project focusing on the second portfolio piece in Adobe XD. It is to create a responsive website and focusing on desktop and mobile. And you will also be guided through it. However, it's only a one course, unlike the first portfolio piece that is spread across a couple courses. Finally, we have course number seven, which again is a new portfolio piece focusing on the third and final portfolio piece in Adobe XD. And the aim of this course is to design for social good. And after you are done with your portfolio piece in the seventh course, it also talks about preparing for jobs. Overall, I think this course is really good. It is well organized, it is easy to use, it allows people who never heard of UX to be able to get into entry level jobs. And it is designed in an easy beginner friendly way. I also really like that they teach you two different tools that is Figma and Adobe XD, as well as the portfolio projects are quite well rounded, allowing you to create an app, a responsive website, and also create a project for social good. And I also really like the examples of the same project type, allowing you to know you are on track and you are indeed doing the thing correctly or if you are confused that also helped out a lot so let's get on to the negatives and what i disliked about the course is that it was very long and it was very easy to get demotivated which happened to me the beginning of the course was also very slow before you get into the action. I also wish that we would be able to see what we are aiming towards at the beginning of the course. So someone sharing their portfolio piece instead of at the end. I feel like that would give a lot of context and create a lot of excitement. Another negative is that it teaches the Google way of things and the methods of Google. Yes, it involves also universal material, but some things may be specific to Google and how Google works, which may create some confusion when you do end up going into your first job or when you're even talking about things, they use specific language in their Google course. Finally, peer graded reviews aren't the best. First of all, you will have people trying to cheat by submitting nothing, hoping to get past, or maybe downloading your work and resubmitting that as theirs. You also have people who don't look at work, who give you either full scores or nothing. And there is generally a lack of feedback other than people saying, great job, good. Um, it means that as a beginner, you just cannot improve because of this lack of feedback. I think that this course should be reviewed by Google maybe not every single unit but the final portfolio piece maybe giving tips and feedback for the general portfolio that would be really handy allowing us to improve as i stated before the feedback from peers is lacking they are also beginners so likelihood is they don't even know what is good feedback in terms of Google UX. The course does give you some tips and how to give feedback, but it is not helpful when you are a beginner and you don't really know what good UX is. So having a professional come in would be great. Another thing that I'd like to add is that this is just a UX course, which is a negative. And that is because it doesn't teach you about UI, which is very important, something that you'd have to study on your own and learn about. 
and especially with a lot of roles there is not a lot specific UX roles usually it is UX UI or product designer you will need those UI skills which it would be nice to have a course on UI side of things within this course so is the Google UX course hard um, I would say that the quiz isn't hard. Like I said, it is well organized and designed for beginners. The hardest thing is going through the times that you're not motivated as it is a long course. Um, the drop off rate is quite big. This is due to not only the free trial, but also the amount of work leading to a lot of people not finishing their course. So as long as you're motivated, no, it's not hard. And should you take the Google course? Personally, I think that the course is good. You can also get the seven free trial and you can also get um, financial aid or scholarships. However, price wise, it is $39 per month. However, the great thing is you can take it at your own pace, e.g. you can do it in a short amount of time or a longer amount of time depending on how much time you actually have. But the fact that this course is by Google, it is something great for you to stand out and get into the field with this Google UX as it is a massive brand name. Although keep in mind that the certificate isn't the only thing that will help you get a job. You will need to have a good portfolio and the Google name isn't going to be enough without a good portfolio. So I have a couple tips. So tip one is share your work and take inspiration from others. Because you cannot improve due to the lack of feedback, it may be best to take your work outside of this course, maybe to Facebook groups, LinkedIn, and maybe then actually be able to get feedback so you can improve. It is also good to take inspiration from others. I think a great place to take inspiration is to join Behance and take inspirations from great designers there. But also try and learn from your peers when you are peer grading. Tip number two, learn about UI. The end product will involve prototyping. Therefore, you will need to have UI skills to make everything visually pleasing. Tip three, don't stop when you finish. When you have finished the course, don't stop. Continue learning and designing and improving your portfolio. So this is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe and comment and I will see you guys next time. Bye.